I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey CV, this is John and Allie with your announcements for today, September 27, 2017. Anyone needing senior product hours should contact Mrs. DePace at the Center Township Senior Apartment. Please see Mrs. Jones for more information. If any student would like to be a part of the Ruth Goldberg Machine competition at the Carnegie Science Center, please see Mr. Fiedler and Mrs. Weigel. Anyone in NHS able to tutor at the middle school should see Mrs. Jones ASAP. The school needs volunteers. Be sure to stop in the guidance office to get information on the three scholarships they are offering right now, which includes Center Civics Women's Club, which is available to all senior girls, PA Society Scholarship worth up to $8,000 a year, and the University of Dayton Leadership and Service Scholarship for students admitted to the University of Dayton. Also stop in the guidance office to check about college visits. There will be a high school gymnastics informational meeting Wednesday, October 4, 2017 at 6.30 p.m. at Manaka Turner's Dining Hall for all those students who have signed up to participate on the Central Valley Gymnastics Team. All parents and gymnasts are encouraged to attend. Are any students interested in volunteering for the Stop, Drop, and Run 5K this year? The race will be held on October 14th and volunteering will begin around 7 to 8 a.m. that morning. Volunteers can register online this year at www.monacofire.com slash guide 5k slash volunteer. Alright, students are not permitted to use the gymnasium as a walkway. Please use hallways when changing classes and going to lunch. All violators will be disciplined. The CV Girls Volleyball team is selling the Pink Out Volleyball t-shirts today and Monday. You can also buy them at Monday's game. Size is small through extra large are $10 and double XL is $11. See any girl on the volleyball team for details. Also, the Pink Out football game will be on October 27th against Shady Side Academy. Shirts are now on sale and will be until October 3rd. Short sleeves are $10 and long sleeves are $15. All payments must be cash and if any questions, please ask Megan Merritt, Tana Madon, Jess Harsh, and Carly Pavlich. On FBLA dues are $12. You may pay by cash or check payable to CVHS. Give to Mrs. DeLon in room NA202. If you are participating in intramural bowling on Tuesdays and need transportation to center lanes, please inform Ms. Salon so she can schedule the activity bus. Again, intramural bowling is open to all students in grades 9 and 12. All level can participate. All right. Senior mentors, there will be a group interview on Monday, October 2nd in Mrs. Loop's room with her and Mr. Bell. Please make sure to attend if you signed up to be a mentor. That's all for your announcement, CV. Here's your Colin Preston with your sports. Hey CB, Preston Arkell here with your sports. Today, Michael Rutherford competes at Whippeo Individual Finals at Allegheny Country Club. Boys soccer takes on Riverside in a big section game away at 3.30. Girls volleyball plays Hampton home in a big section game at 7.30. Tomorrow, the football team travels to Beaver for a big conference game. The theme will be a White House. That's all we have for today. Now here's Allison and Riley with E! News. Hello CV, Allie and I are back with more, some more e-news. News broke yesterday that Khloe Kardashian is expecting her firstborn child with her boyfriend Tristan Thompson. Khloe is not the only sister pregnant in the family. There's rumors going around that Kylie Jenner is also expecting. Nothing has been confirmed for either of the sisters, but the internet is going crazy over the news. Case, case confirmed that Billy Ray Cyrus and his wife divorce case has been dismissed as of May 23, 2017. They first filed for divorce in 2010, but over the past seven years, they have worked their bumpy relationship out. Jennifer Lopez made a major announcement on Sunday. During a press conference in New York, she, did, she announced that she is making a $1 million donation to hurricane relief efforts in Puerto Rico. Beyonce and Jay-Z just scored a seven-bedroom estate in the luxurious beachside community of East Hampton, New York. The estate costs $26 million. The couple and their three children will enjoy a property that measures out to 12,000 square feet on a two-acre site. In most recent news, a tragedy has swept America with the late passing of American icon Hugh Hefner. He died at the age of 91. That's all we have for you this week, CV. Tune in next week for some more E! News. <laughs> Well, CV, bad news today. Me and Mott just couldn't find a segment to air today. I don't know what to do. The ideas are just not there anymore. So. I'm oh, getting a call. Hello? No one cracking. Yeah. Is this Mott? Who else would this be? 
Come on, man. I, I found another segment. We can do it on the cafeteria and the tater tots. Let's get right to it. Hi, CV. I'm here with Miss Holt, the food service director, and um, I'm going to ask her a few questions. So, Miss Holt, is there any uh, changes to the uh, menu this year? Yeah, we have um, several new items that are actually coming up in October for you guys to look out for, such as Swedish meatballs over noodles, um, some Italian dunkers, which are homemade cheesy sticks basically dipped in marinara sauce. Kind of like our pizza sticks, but better because they're homemade. Um, we have a CV burger coming up, which is a specialty patty, which I've heard tastes like a McDonald's patty. It has the ketchup and cheese already in it. Um, so there's several new things to look, to look out for. Nice, sounds good. And um, are school lunches becoming more lenient when it comes to sugary and unhealthy foods? They are being a little bit, a little bit more lenient um, now that Trump is the president. Um, a couple things that he has relaxed for us is our m flavored milk. It used to be fat-free. Uh, we used to have fat-free chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. It is now low-fat, um, so that is relaxed. And he has also relaxed the sodium levels, which were supposed to get stricter as the years went on, have now leveled out, and we are just staying at the same level of sodium, which is good for you guys. Nice. And um, have the prices of our meals stayed the same? Yep, they are, our lunch prices and breakfast prices are the same as last year. Nice. And uh, how do you make the tater tots? <laughs> um, the tater tots are made in a combi therm oven. Um, it's a great piece of equipment. It can do all kinds of different things. It steams, it, it's a convection oven, it bakes our fries. Um, so your, all your fries are baked in this oven. Nice. And our uh, final question, um, are the school lunches really as healthy as they say they are? They are if you take um, the reimbursable meal of all the components that you should. Uh, if you get your fruits and vegetables and your whole grains, it definitely is a healthy option. Nice. Well, thank you. You're welcome. I'm here with uh, Noah and Noah. Um, do you like the school lunches? Of course. And uh, do you think they're as healthy as they say they are? Yes, I feel like they are very healthy. Very good choice for us, our students. And um, what's your favorite meal on the menu? I like the pizza. I feel like it's a very good tasting pizza. Not that healthy, but it's very good. I'm here with Julian. So Julian, do you like our school lunches? I love our school lunches. They're really good. Do you think they're as healthy as they say they are? I believe it. I believe they're so healthy. I love the salads. I love the pizza. The tater tots. Mm. And um, good. last question. What's your uh, favorite meal on the menu? My favorite meal? Mm-hmm. Mm, my favorite meal. I'd have to say the vegetarian salad. Yeah, I like the bell peppers. That's the best part. Thank you, Julian. So after your interviewing Miss Holt, we found out that our meal prices have stayed the same. She also informed us of a new CV burger coming to the menu. I even found out that school lunches are becoming less strict because of Trump is the president. Finally, Miss Holt told us that our tiger tots and fries are cooked in a combi therm oven. Well, CV, that's all. Have a great day.